This just may be the future of Wi-Fi. 900 megahertz, adjustable transmission powers, very low power when it comes to it. It's a whole new standard of Wi-Fi. Might even be contending with Bluetooth and LoRa. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm not just saying it to be funny. This is a whole new sort of transmission protocol that's based off Wi-Fi. It's called Wi-Fi Halo. I'm here at an Australian booth talking to Morse Micro and asking, what's so different about this? I, really, Andy, lovely to see you. Hey, uh, great to see you. Great, great to connect, Elliot. Great to connect. I just want to ask, what's what's wrong with Wi-Fi? What's wrong with oh. Bluetooth and LoRaWAN? I mean, a, is this a replacement for all of that? It's not a replacement for all of it, but I love your excitement. Okay. This is really, really exciting. Uh, Wi-Fi Halo, relatively new protocol to market. Mm -hmm. It's standard Wi-Fi, um, but in the way that Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz are really great in your house, every Everyone shrugs when you walk outside the house, when you get 20 or 30 meters away, it just doesn't work. I've lost it. Whereas this can work comfortably hundreds of meters, um, up to a kilometer, up. we can get Wi-Fi connectivity. So this is the core of the next generation Internet of Things connect connectivity. Amazing, so one kilometer, that is yeah. completely unheard of for yeah. Wi-Fi. Yeah. How does it achieve this? Is it lower frequency that we're going is it it's exactly that it's exactly right. that. at its core it's a sub one gigahertz radio frequency protocol so that and that means that the the physics of that i'm not my i'm not an expert on this but the physics of that means it goes much longer distance penetrates concrete much more effectively than most of the pro, um, radio frequencies so for things like smart metering where your meter boxes are in really difficult locations connectivity is fantastic so long distance great throughput high volumes of throughput. You referenced LoRaWAN earlier mm -hmm. on, a thousand times the data throughput at most distances with Wi-Fi Halo compared to LoRaWAN. Okay. Now, LoRaWAN has been phenomenal over the last 15 years, but its data limitations are, are really quite, it's holding people back right now. So for things like Edge AI, I think Wi-Fi Halo offers a new generation of IoT application. Amazing. I want to hear about applications of this. Where do you see this going? And, and then we'll get to the technical side of it. Where, where is this going to be appearing more and more often? Uh, so um, all, of those, all of those great, exciting segments of the Internet of Things, I regard it as an underpinning part of IoT 2.0. So absolutely security cameras, Wi-Fi connected cameras at distance. Um, if you move into the industrial IoT, robotic warehousing, big one kilometre long warehouse, hundreds of robots, very, very simple Wi-Fi connectivity. I've already mentioned smart metering. That's a really important piece. The volume of data that meters in the future need to exchange. It's going to be really, really so much higher than today's smart metering. So you need a bigger throughput connectivity. Um, agriculture, oh look, I could go on, but there's yeah. an exciting range of use cases for this technology. Beautiful, Andy, let's pass it over to someone more technical. Yeah, let's do that. Blake, let's bring in Blake. He's our country manager for Amazing. Man. Okay, so now we've got Blake. He's someone who can talk more technically about this. Blake, thank you very much for joining us. Nice to meet you. Lovely nice to meet you, you too. Yeah, so, we want to know how many clients can yes. one of these connect to? Is yeah. it one-to-one? -to -one? Oh, How's it's it amazing. Thanks to the standard, <laughs> AO2.11H. Okay. By the standard, you can connect to 8,000 clients. 8,000 8, clients. Jesus. Right. Okay. Sure. How far can we get this to go typically? So we say one kilometer. When we're going one kilometer, can we still right. be talking to 8,000 clients, but at a lower data? Yes, yes. Okay. In terms of distance, it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. It's just a throughput, right? There's no really magic. Mm -hmm. You need to divide your bandwidth to 8,000 yes, clients. Yes, naturally. That's okay. Right. I'm happy to take that sort of... Right. Uh, take the hit there. Okay, so say we've been talking about all the Edge AI applications of this or all the devices running at the edge and other applications where you might only be powered by a battery, a solar panel. Yeah. Let's talk about these modules. How low power are they? They are very low power. Very low power. Very low power. Okay. Even lower than LoRa. Lower Compared than LoRa. to the same data rate. Right. right. You can, for example, some application you can use a battery mm -hmm. and can power for more than one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Um, antenna size. So probably yes. one of the best parts about right. 2.4 gigahertz connections, 5 right. gigahertz. Right. Millimeter wave is the tiny antenna that you can have in the chip. Uh -huh. What have we got to be using to get data off something yes. in the 900 megahertz band? Is it this big? Is it this big? Just like this one. Like that size? That one. This wow. is a, a very standard 1 dBi antenna, mm -hmm. right? But for sure you can go lower. 
Yeah. Or even you can see like the USB dongle. Yes. Right. So, but sure, the uh, efficiency wise, mm -hmm. the dipole antenna got perfect efficiency. Mm -hmm. But small, uh, even with like the embedded antenna, uh, you still got very good uh, efficiency. Okay. Yeah. So something like this. Right. Morse Micro is producing the black system right in the center. What what is on this? Is it is it just uh, an RF uh, power amplifier or? or what is actually inside of this IC? Yeah, they are much more than that. There's a MAC layer mm -hmm. and plus a phi layer. Right. right. So in the MAC, it's running totally about the AO2.11H protocol. Okay. Right. So it's a, a more than just the RF. I see. Yeah. So we say MAC as well. What kind of security are we dealing with this? It's a totally same as a, the, the latest advanced Wi-Fi. It's right. a called the WPA3. WPA3. Yeah, with the highest level of security. Amazing, yeah, because yeah. that's pretty important. You know, when you're just inside your house or, or right. your Wi-Fi isn't extending too far over your walls, you don't have to be yes. too worried about someone sniffing all your data. That's right. If you're going to have a whole kilometer in a circle radius, yes. I mean, anyone can be sitting a kilometer away listening. So you would That's want some right. really good security. Let, let's talk about how we can actually use these modules and put them into our designs. Um, when it comes to this module here, yep. uh, programming it, how do yes. we program this module? Oh, it's so simple. Just think about, right, you can plug this into anywhere. Mm -hmm. You have a, a type C mm -hmm. interface yep. or type A. Yes. Right. And the, in terms of driver, uh, you can run USB interface, mm -hmm. SPI or SDIO. So has this got a processor on it? Uh, yes. Processor internal to it that you can program and see? Uh, the program, we have a, a newer version coming very soon. Mm -hmm. And like the new version, the uh, old protocol will run on the chip. Right. But today, it's still attached on the host side. Okay. Right. You run driver at the, your host. Uh, okay, so you just uh, run device. calls to it instead of physically programming it in C. Yes. Okay, beautiful. So the other one we were talking about before was low power modes and keeping everything uh, power constrained. Have you got uh, adjustable transmission powers? You can go from you know, negative 12 dBm up to 4 dBm. What transmission powers are you supporting? Yeah, the transmission power, we can do a very good uh, range okay. of a uh, different transmission power. Mm -hmm. The highest one in the US, we can reach uh, 30 dBm. 30 dBm. Super, super long distance. In, in a yeah. very small module like that, 30 dBm. That's right, that's right. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> very impressive. Yeah. So, and then what's the lowest that you can go down to? Say someone has a very power constrained application, yeah. negative 12, where is it sit? Uh, for the low power efficient, uh, it, it really depends on the distance you want to reach, mm -hmm. right? So for certain very uh, short distance application, you can go very low. Right. Depends on right, like uh, uh, minus uh, uh, ten or twenty. Beautiful, yeah. right. amazing. Yeah. So, say an engineer wants to put just the chip into the design. May I ask this? Sure. Say an engineer just wants to put the black part into the design, the chip, the Morse micro cells. Right. Do you do you have a development kit that can allow engineers sure. to learn how to use this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. Uh, so, in terms of the development kit, mm -hmm. uh, most micro provide a series of all kinds of different application kit. Right. Uh, you will have uh, like a based on Raspberry Pi. Yep. Or based on the uh, uh, ST Micro, the famous MCU. Right. 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 Or right, you got a, a USB dongle, mm -hmm. or even like this is a certified, well done commercial grade. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. EVK. So you got a full uh, kit of the software. Right. You can, you know, very easily to complete the application. Right. What a great product. This just may be the future of Wi-Fi. 900 megahertz, adjustable transmission powers, very low power when it comes to it. It's a whole new standard of Wi-Fi. Might even be contending with Bluetooth and LoRa. If you want to see more about this, go ahead, look down in the description. We'll have some links where you can go and chat to Morse Micro. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much.